Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to Comsol Multiphysics tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about mesh. So, what is a mesh? A mesh uh, divides the whole structure into several smaller regions for the simulation. So, in uh, Comsol Multiphysics or any other simulating softwares where we need to select the boundary conditions or environment around the structure we need to set up the mesh so what does mesh do as we have said earlier the mesh divides the structure into many smaller regions so instead of running simulations or applying boundary conditions on the whole structure at the same time the mesh allows the uh, software to run the uh, uh, simulation or boundary condition on the individual regions or a smaller piece of region at the same time at the end of the simulation process all the regions result are sum up and then presented as a whole so what is the advantage of doing so in this um, process we can focus on our uh, region of interest and we can extract our accurate data from the structures it will not be so easy if we uh, apply the simulation on the uh, whole structure so let us see how the mesh is created and manipulate so here we can see in the model tree there is a node as mesh so we can see already it has created a mesh so uh, as i previously created the mesh uh, so you can see here are two sequence types one is physics control mesh and another is user control mesh so if we choose the uh, by default physics control mesh the mesh structures and element size will be created as per the mesh um, sorry as per the physics so why uh, as per the physics because if you uh, go through the physics specifications in Comson multiphysics you may find that it says uh, the mesh element size should be in order of uh, some fraction of the wavelength uh, used in the simulation so this is the by default uh, uh, settings if you are new to mesh or don't know how to set up the mesh for your structure you should uh, go for the physics control mesh it will automatically uh, set up your mesh so here you can see the element size what is the element size the element size is the uh, overall size of the smaller regions uh, the smaller regions are called the elements so we can see the range uh, extends to uh, extremely coarse to extremely fine so let us uh, go for a random like first normal if we go for normal we will see that it's the normal uh, mesh so you may ask why uh, the shapes are random so let me explain the structure uh, in this structure these four parts are the outer structure or out of the cavity and this one is the waveguide so what is the waveguide a uh, waveguide that uh, guides the electromagnetic wave or the signals through the structure so in these ports we will input the signal or take the output from the ports so the power transmission or the S parameters will be evaluated at these ports or over this waveguide so we need to run extremely uh, extreme simulations or calculations on these waveguides and ports to get the accurate result that's why the mesh element size is more uh, condensed or smaller in the waveguide regions rather than uh, sorry than the other structures now if we uh, go for the course the mesh size will increase if you go for extremely coarse it will increase more 
and again if we get extremely fine we'll see that the mesh size has decreased and we can see the element size is very small as you can see so as small is your element size you'll get the more accurate results so you may say that we should always apply the smaller element size but one thing to notice that the mesh size is dependent on your structure or physics interference or your simulation type if you choose the wrong mesh you will not get the accurate results and as a smaller mesh you will apply it will take longer time to simulate the structure so if your pc or laptop doesn't support that kind of speed your laptop may hang and it will take a long time to finish the simulations so this is the by default uh, uh, mesh structures so sometimes we may need to uh, specify the uh, some custom mesh element size for our structures so why that is needed uh, here we have see uh, taken a single physics interface that is ewfd so just imagine if you take uh, more physics interfaces two or multiple interfaces uh, the mesh will not be the same for all the uh, interfaces it may be different or it may be same depending on your structures and the environment and the boundary conditions so when you apply the physics control mesh it will uh, dependent uh, depend on the physics it will create a overall mesh for the structures but if you use the user controlled mesh you will be able to one specify your element size two specify your element shape and three you will be able to choose or specify different mesh for different regions so that's all for this video in the next video we will try the custom mesh thank you